Today I'm going to replace the camshaft position sensor in my car. There are two camshaft position sensors on the BMW E36. There is the intake position sensor and the exhaust. Uh, these are also referred to as upstream and downstream. Uh, if it's the upstream slash intake sensor, uh, it will probably be causing a little bit more problems. You'll notice that uh, as you try and accelerate, you'll see a loss of power. Um, and of course, it will also trigger a check engine light. And that check engine light will probably say something like uh, camshaft position sensor, uh, circuit one, or bank A. Usually, that's the intake uh, or the upstream sensor and not the exhaust sensor because the A, circuit one. Um, but you can confirm that with Google, since Google is your friend. Um, and you can also confirm that if you see a loss of power. In my limited experience, it seems that the intake sensor is the more common one to cause fault. So when you are troubleshooting uh, a problem like this, obviously you'll, it should throw a check engine light. You can scan for a code. You'll get a code, and when you Google that code, it'll say something like camshaft position sensor. Um, and once you have that, if that's coupled with um, occasional loss of power, it's probably the sensor. Now, at first, it might only do it every once in a while as it's starting to go bad, but it will get progressively worse. All you'll need to do this job is your camshaft position sensor and a new o-ring and of course a couple of simple wrenches sockets that sort of thing uh, it's really a simple job the only difficult part is you have to take off a couple things before you can get at it but even then it's right here right on the top of the engine very accessible and easy to get to to change out the sensor you really just have to take off a few parts I like to take uh, off the cover above the fuel injectors right here. So you just pop off the covers, remove these two bolts, 10 millimeter bolt there. And then once you have that, you can remove this hose right here. And you can just kind of pinch it gently to pull it off there. And then right here, this this is the Vanos unit. Uh, it's plugged in right down here. And this wire, what you need to do to disconnect these is just push on this wire and then pull it apart. It should pull really easy, easily apart. Disconnect this wire because you're gonna have to remove this. The camshaft position sensor is right underneath it. The reason I unplugged this is because next I'm going to unbolt this here, or unscrew this, just screws on, if you unscrew this without first unclipping this connection, you can twist this wire and potentially damage it. I'm taking a minute to just put some paper towels here and here uh, because that does is exposed to the engine oil and you could get grime and stuff from the outside of the engine in there as you're working so the next step to get here we can finally see the camshaft position sensor clearly it's right here it's only held on by uh, one bolt to get at it though I'm gonna take and just pull this vacuum hose off. Uh, inspect to make sure that it's in good condition. You'll notice that this has been replaced. It's pliable. Lots of times if they haven't been replaced in a while they'll be kind of brittle. Uh, so pull off that vacuum hose and then disconnect to this uh, oil feed line. Now, to remove the camshaft position sensor, I'm just going to take out this bolt right here, 
But before I do that, I'm going to actually disconnect the wire leading to the camshaft position sensor. Now you've got to trace the wire right here. You've got to chase it back underneath uh, the intake manifold here. Uh, it goes and snakes quite a long distance back there. If you're lucky, you can fit your hands back in there. It's a tight fit. Reach all the way in there. It has another one of those wire disconnectors that you've disconnected earlier. Feel for it, push it, and then pull it out. This is kind of a tricky process. So, the reason I disconnected this, the plug, uh, before I took this off is once I take this off, there's going to be uh, an opening there into the engine block, and I don't want to be pushing around and rubbing my hand and getting dirt in here. So always think about that as you're doing this job. There's going to be several small openings, and uh, a little bit of dirt in there can can cause some damage. Uh, that's also why I'm trying to wipe this down a little bit first, because I want it reasonably clean. Uh, you don't have to get crazy about it, but it should be clean enough to where uh, dirt isn't going to fall off and like fall inside there. Alright, now I can take my hex Allen wrench, size 5, stick it right on there. And it should come come out pretty easily. That one bolt, you know, should just be able to pull pull it out. There's no ring on there, so it's a little bit snug. There you go. And there's the old sensor and there, it's clear why it was starting to go bad just a little bit of damage there boy uh, now I've replaced these before where it hasn't looked like this um, uh, they still wear out but um, but yeah obviously this one has a problem when you install the new sensor you also want to install a new o-ring the o-ring isn't always sold with the new sensor, so be sure you get one. Go ahead and put it on there like this. Now I'm going to install the new sensor before I plug it in for the same reason. I want to close up that hole into the engine block before I do any reaching around. There we go. Now you want to get it snug, but not overly tight. The uh, specifications are just 5 newton meters of torque, which isn't a lot. Now once that's on there, I can go ahead and reach back and do the tedious job of trying to plug it back in. Same process. Make sure to route it as close as possible to the way it was before so there are a couple hoses and things that you gotta go around and through now to put it back in you have to do the same process you have to push on that wire and then push it in at the same time once you think you have it go ahead and tug on it just to make sure that it's locked in place go. Now it's just a matter of putting everything back together. Use my vacuum hose. I'm going to put that back on. Oil feeder tube here for the Vanos unit. Now I'm going to install my 
Thanos unit. Once again, I'm going to install this first and then plug it in. Step that on there. Always make sure that you've reconnected everything you've disconnected. So the uh, camshaft position sensor is installed. The vacuum hose is hooked back up. This oil feed line is hooked back up. The Vanus unit is screwed back on and plugged in. And then this oil overflow line here is hooked up. Everything's ready to go. I'm just going to put the cover back over the fuel injectors and we'll be done. These small bolts take a 10 millimeter socket. There we are, we're all set. At this point, gonna run around, hook my code reader up underneath the dash and just verify that I've been able to successfully clear this code.